Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today, we're talking about my top five favorite baseball movies of all time, okay? Before you watch this, put your top five baseball movies of all time in the comment section below. Don't wait until I tell you what mine are. Just put yours. I'd be interested to hear, okay? Before I get into what mine are, today's video is powered by Triton. We wear Triton jerseys in gear. They do a great job. Go check them out. CustomBaseballJerseys.com. You can see everything they make. They do awesome. I highly recommend it. Okay. Top five baseball movies of all time. Now, um, these are the top five. Uh, th this is the way I'm going to rank them, okay? If somebody said to me, if they laid out like all the baseball movies ever made, and they said, pick five of these that you want to watch. Like, which five do you really want to watch? This is my five, okay? Um, start with number one. Major League One, not two, definitely not three. I don't know if there was a four, I don't know. Major League One, okay? I think it's one of the funniest movies ever because it's hilarious and it's baseball and I like funny stuff and I really, really like baseball, okay? Um, as a coach, I probably drop at least, every couple of days, I drop a Major League line, right? I have to, okay? It's just... Like, especially once the season starts, right? Like, any time a guy makes, like, a, a circus, you know, they make, like, a, a it's a routine play, but they make it seem really, really hard when you're supposed to do the opposite. You're supposed to try to make the difficult play routine, right? But you see a guy, it's, like, an easy play, and they, they make it look really hard. They make the catch. Like, every time they come in, you got to say, great catch, Hayes. Don't ever do it again, right? You have to drop that. I can't swear on here, okay? Um, or, like, any time a guy can't hit, right, you, you have to get, you know... You may run like Maze, but you hit like, you know, you know what, uh, right? If you haven't seen the movie, this is not funny and, um, you know, but I can't really swear, okay? Or like any time a pitcher, right, any time a pitcher throws a ball and misses by 10 feet, you all, you, know, you don't always have to, but I always tried the corner and missed, right? I always say that. I probably said it last night at watching our guys throw bullpens, okay? So I just dropped major league lines like all day long. Um, it is a hilarious movie. Everybody in the movie is funny. Um, I don't know. I could quote the whole thing. It's, it's awesome. Okay. That was number one. Number two is Bull Durham. Okay. This might, let's say this, Major League's my number one movie. Now, the rest of them, you can put them in any order. This might not be two. It might be five. Okay. But it's in my top five. All right. Bull Durham. Bull Durham. The reason I really like Bull Durham, again, because it's a comedy and it's really funny, but it's also like, it, it's, it. Yeah, I played in the minor leagues, and so that's kind of what the minor leagues feels like. Now, I know it was set back a, a ways before I played, um, but again, Crash Davis, and, you know, it's realistic in some ways. It's really realistic. In some ways, maybe not, but it's funny and realistic. Always makes me remember being in the minor leagues and playing, um, and again, tons of quotable lines, tons of lines that I that I use a lot. Not as many lines I use as, as uh, in Major League, but they did a great job with Bull Durham, one of the all-time classics, and it has to be in my top five, okay? Uh, let's see. What do I write as number three? Number three is A League of Their Own, okay? A League of Their Own is unbelievable, okay? Tom Hanks, he's one of my favorite actors. He is one of the greatest managers. I wish I played for Tom Hanks um, because he does an awesome job, right? Plus, it's a really cool storyline, okay? It's funny, it's a great storyline. You got Tom Hanks, a great manager, right? When Kit wins at the end, I want to cry, okay? It's just really, 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 really a good movie. And plus, always, like, you know, at the end, if you've ever seen it, at the end, they show the actual players playing, and they were, like, most of them were better than I was. Um, and so, I don't know. I just like to watch the end of the movie also. Um, it's, like, after the movie's over, okay? Um, if you haven't seen it, go watch it, right? Great movie. You ha everyone's seen A League of Their Own, right? But if you haven't seen A League of Their Own, put it in the comment section below, okay? Everyone's seen it. Um, so that's number three, all right? Awesome movie. Number four. What did I put down as number four? Oh, The Sandlot. Sandlot is a classic. The Sandlot, again, as a kid, uh, right? I mean, who doesn't like Wendy Peppercorn? Um, she was awesome. Squints. Squints was the best, right? Um, uh, Benny the Jet. Okay, anyways. Like Sandlot Baseball, the movie is hilarious and the movie is great, but I think something about the movie is like that's that's like 
baseball, right? At least as, for me as a kid, like thinking back to playing like Sandlot baseball, playing in my grandfather and my grandparents' backyard, like playing with the buddy, our buddies on the street. Um, you know, I probably liked it because that's when I used to hit a ton of home runs, right? I could actually hit in Sandlot baseball and like real baseball. And so um, that might be why I like it. But funny movie, again, just brings back like memories of being a kid and playing late at night, right? Playing until like basically the lights go out and you got to go in. I don't know if that still happens nowadays. I know, like, you know, when I talk to my dad, it's always like, you guys don't play like we used to play back in the day. And now I'm getting to the age where I'm like, you guys don't play like I used to play back in the day, right? Like, do kids play outside anymore, play Sandlot baseball? I don't, I'm not sure. I think everything is organized now, right? Everything's like travel ball and all that stuff. I can't talk too much because I, I own a travel ball company. But, um, yeah, go outside and play. And uh, if you play Sandlot baseball, let me know in the comment section below. I'd be interested to hear but anyways, fantastic movie. Um, Got to be in my top five. Okay, what's my fifth one? My fifth one is uh, is Field of Dreams. Now this one, I'm gonna be honest. Like Field of Dreams was a good movie. It's like a classic baseball movie, right? Like every baseball fan I feel like has seen Field of Dreams, um, and it was a really good movie. Now. I think you can kind of tell that I like comedies, I like to laugh, I like funny stuff. And so Feel the Dreams is more of a serious baseball movie. I feel like I had to put it in my top five because, again, it is it is a really good movie. I also feel like people are going to yell at me if I don't put it in the top five. Um, there's a couple movies that I had to leave out that are like six and seven that, honestly, if you said right now, like, um, let's watch uh, Field of Dreams or Little Big League. I'm going to be like Little Big League, right? And people and like baseball purists are going to be like, are you kidding me? Little Big League? Like, yeah, it was a great movie, okay? It was hilarious. It was a really good movie. Uh, well, like Rookie of the Year, right? Like some people think Rookie of the Year is a joke. Like Rookie of the Year makes me laugh. I really like Rookie of the Year, all right? Like Rosenbagger. Um, what other movies? Uh, let's see. Again, my age, like, these are all bit movies when I was young, and so maybe that's why I like them so much. Like, uh, what else? Angels in the Outfield. Like, terrible movie, but good movie, right? Like, Tony Danza, worst pitching mechanics of all time. Um, but again, I don't know why. I like, I like Angels in the Outfield, right? So, uh, you know, when they start doing this, that one part, like, that kind of, I watch it now, I'm like, eh. But still, good movie, and I was a kid when I watched it, and it makes me, it makes me happy. It makes me think about playing baseball as a young player um so those movies little big league and rookie of the year and angels of the outfield i didn't put in my top five again but um maybe angels of the year kind of kicked them out okay because because little big league is way better like little big league watching like griffey when griffey makes that catch at the end what a stud griffey is right that's one of my favorite things about that movie they put like real players in there playing which was which was uh, pretty cool um so, again, right now, I'd probably watch that over Field of Dreams, okay? I've seen Field of Dreams like 5,000 times. I've seen Little Big League like 5,000 times. Um, but that's my top five, okay? So let's go over the order again. I wrote it down. We got Major League. We got Bull Durham. We got A League of Their Own. We got the Sandlot. We got Field of Dreams, okay? Now, it's time for people to yell at me and be like, how did you not put in The Natural or whatever? I don't know what you guys are going to say, right? Um it doesn't really matter what you say. These are my five favorite movies, okay? So no one's going to get me to change my mind, but I'm interested to hear interested to hear what your top five movies of all time are. Baseball movies, okay? Um, put it in order, one through five, or just put any five. Again, um, there's been so many good baseball movies. It's hard to just name five, but I did it. So uh, throw it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about my list now that I told you. And uh, that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, share the video with all your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Go and check out all our other videos. I've made like 10,000 of them at this point almost. And so um, go check them out. I've been putting up a video every day for the last like two, for the last almost two years. Yeah, about two years ago I said, you know what? I said I'm going to put a video up every single day. Um, and I'm still doing it. And I've put up two some days. Some days I've messed up and upload like seven by accident, okay? So I've put up a lot of videos over the last two years, probably almost a thousand videos in the last two years, but go and watch some of them. Uh, some of them are decent. All right, that's all I got. We'll talk to you later.